Welcome to Unleashing Your Creativity, where creative expression, big and small, is unleashed for anyone who wants to join along. Hi, my name is Mary Foley, and today we're gonna unleash our creativity on these hand-painted wine glasses. I call them my Mimi glasses. There's so much going on with flowers and grasses. It's like this beautiful garden teeming with life. And you'll love how they look filled with ice water on a hot summer day or with white wine served with cheese and crackers or red wine. Looks so pretty no matter what you have in them. So we're gonna have a lot of fun, so let's get to it. Okay, here are the supplies that you will need. First, you want to get some multi-surface acrylic paints that are used to paint on glass or ceramics. I have these primary colors that I can mix my own colors and I have some pre-mixed ones. I got these at Michael's and I made sure that they were the ones that after you paint the glasses and have them set for a few days, then you can put them in the oven for like a half hour and then they become dishwasher safe. And that's what I want. Then you need the glasses, of course. And I got a set of 12 online for like $13.85. Yes, you two folks can find a whole set of 12 wine glasses for only $13.85. And then if you make a mistake, Chuck it, you won't feel quite so bad. Then you need a plate or a palette to put the paints on. And I like to cover the paints with little pieces of plastic to keep them from drying out while I'm working on my project. Then you need some paint brushes in different shapes and sizes to paint the flowers and the grass. Alcohol to wipe the outside of the glass before you get started to get it nice and clean. And then I find it helpful to have a dark background when painting the lighter things on the glass and a light background when painting the darker things on the glass. It just makes it easier to see. And then lastly, you need a bowl of water to rinse your paintbrush out as you go along, paper towel, and that's it. Let's do this. First, use some alcohol to wipe down the outside of the glass. Okay, so first we're gonna paint these little white flowers that you see here on the inside, which are actually the first things that we painted on the outside of the glass. Then we paint the green grass over top of them, so it looks like the little white flowers are peeking out from the grass. Everything is painted on the outside because we never want any food or drink to touch the painted side. So first we'll put a little red paint on our palette. This will be for the middle of our white flowers. So with a little small tipped paintbrush, we're going to just do some random little red dots on the bottom third or the bottom half of the glass. This will be for the middle of the flowers. Just random, anywhere that feels good. See that on the inside? Then a little white paint and a slightly bigger tipped paintbrush. We're just going to dab about, I don't know, five petals around each red dot. You can do more, you can do less. It's your flower. You can do whatever you want. Very easy. We're gonna be doing a lot of dots today. <laughs> and one, two, three, four, five. And we'll speed up a little bit. You got the point. There you go. See on the inside there? Now we're gonna mix some blue and yellow paint to make this nice green for the grass. And I like to use a brush with a jagged edge or wispy edge for the grass. See that? So what we're gonna do is take some of our green here and starting at the bottom here, we're going to just paint up 
right over the flowers up and in different directions nice wispy grass blowing in the wind just try to keep it about halfway up the glass it's not totally important to cover the flowers completely because we're going to be painting so much stuff over top of them doesn't really matter. I'll maybe go back over it twice, but speed it up here. Now you see how the little flower is peeking out. Now we're going to do these grass plumes here, these little weedy looking things. Three sets of three. Now we'll Mix up some yellow with a little red and white, a little more white, a little more yellow, until we get that weedy color we want. I'm going to use this brush again that I used for the little white flowers. And we're going to paint the stems. One, two, three. They don't have to look perfect, thank goodness, because we're going to paint the fluffy parts of the spikelets, I guess they're called, right over it. And then flowers on top, so you don't need to worry. Just whisk, whisk, whisk. third one doesn't have to be perfect it's hard to paint in this direction to get the idea here I want you to see what I'm doing. Fix that one a little bit. Now we're going to do the second one. And the third one. Like I said, three sets of three. One, two, three. Now we're going to paint some of these red flowers on top of the weedy looking things. And later we'll paint some more down here after we paint on some more lighter grass. But we're just doing these for now. The ones over top of the weedy things. I want them to be just little oval blobs. Facing in different directions. Even some set off of the wheat will look good too. Then we'll put little white specks and black specks in the middle of each flower. So we'll do about five for each set just randomly placed in different directions. Place them anywhere you want. Okay, now we'll put some white specks in the middle or top of each one. Just using a small brush, it's kind of fairly dry. See, pretty. Now the black specks. Again, a dry brush.
kind of remind me of poppies for some reason. Maybe because of the black in there. I don't know. Now we're going to add a little lighter grass. I'm going to mix some more yellow with the green I have left from the first grass. Just paint up like before, giving it depth by going over the design a little bit, making it look like it's in the background. Gives it depth. They're pretty. Two different color grasses. Now we're going to paint these uh, hyacinth lupine looking things. We'll make some red and blue and a lot of white until we get the purple we want. We'll just do a bunch of dots in the teardrop shape or upside down grapes. We'll do three sets of three again. Coming up over the top of the grass. It's okay to paint over top of other stuff. Again, it gives it depth. There you have three sets of three. Now, for a little bit of shading, we're going to add some black into the purple we made before. And we'll paint this darker color along the bottom and up the sides. Paint the right half or third. It's kind of hard to see here, but you'll see see it more when it dries us back. Up, up, up. There, you kind of see it now. No more. Oh. Now I'm going to use this stiff brush, which is fairly dry, to tap on some white paint. Kind of looks like some light reflecting off. Just up the side, the left side. Now we're going to do some of these dark grasses down here. We'll add some red and black to the paint we use for the grass plumes. Maybe some more yellow to make it a little more brown. And using a slightly larger brush, so I'll just paint up along the bottom. Giving it a little something else going on. Up, up, up. So, some coming up into the design. Oh, look at that pretty pink. I got rid of it, but it was pretty. Okay, next let's uh, paint these a little yellow lily looking things, these pointed petal tulips around. Just three petals like this, facing different directions, randomly placed. And some over top of the flowers to give depth. This paint's not very thick. Now we're going to do some of this pink ground cover along the bottom that will also go up into the grasses. 
So mix them white with red on our palette. Okay, that's too pink. Let's just add a little speck of this to some white we had to get a nice pink. Now just dot, dot, dot along the bottom and go up. I feel like the painter Surratt with his pointillism. Some smaller dots, some bigger dots up into the grass. Now we'll paint some more of these red flowers throughout the grass and ground cover and then some of the white flowers too all around and some more yellow ones down the ground cover. So here's the red blobs again up in the grass and down in the ground cover and then the little white and black specks again. Now just like with the red blobs we did before we'll do some white blobs and then paint little pink specks in the middle of those. There you go. Pretty. Now some little yellow flowers in the ground cover. Now with again with our stiff brush we'll tap on some little yellow specks all over on the grass and above the grass. And just looks like could be pollen or insects. Just a garden teeming with life. <laughs> Again, we're using a pretty dry brush here. And there you go. All done. We can go ahead and sign it now. I'm going to sign my Mimi glass with green dots and red dots yellow dots, white dots. And I'll finish with little green leaves on either side. And after three days of letting the paint set, I'll put them in the oven for 30 minutes at 325 degrees to make them dishwasher safe. And I did check it out, and they are indeed dishwasher safe on the top rack. So there you are, our finished product. Pretty little garden on a glass. Cheers! Now you know how to make a Mimi glass. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you slap that like and subscribe button down below for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Get up, wake up, step up, get up, wake up, step up, get up, wake up. Get up, wake up, step up, get up, wake up, step up, get up, wake up, step up. Showing the world all that you can be. Unleashing your creativity. Passions free.